The AmbiDry Verge system provides a neat, maintenance-free verge for interlocking concrete tiles. With very high resistance to storm damage and with no wet trays required, it removes concerns about mortar failure. Set out the roof in the normal manner, ensuring the tiling battens extend 60mm beyond the outer edge of the brickwork or barge board. Using the 20 by 265 mm nails provided, fix a batten end clip to the top edge of each tiling batten. Locate the tile on the eaves course in line with the end of the battens and fit the eaves closure onto it. Slide the eaves closure down towards the tail of the tile to a position where it remains fully inserted but will not go down any further. Fix into the barge board through the two most appropriate holes in the eaves closure unit using the two screws provided. Clip the first AmbiDry verge unit over the eaves closure unit. Slide the AmbiDry verge unit in the direction of the ridge until the tail coincides with the tail of the tile. Ensuring contact with the head of a tile, nail the AmbiDry verge unit into the batten end clip through the most convenient hole using a 65 by 3.35 mm nail provided. Add the end tile on the next course and fit in place. Depending on the hand of the verge, prepare the AmbiDry verge units by snapping out the relevant section. The text in the inside indicates which is which. Carefully locate the second AmbiDry verge unit in the slots of the first. Slide the AmbiDry verge unit in the direction of the ridge until the tail coincides with the tail of the tile. Secure the AmbiDry verge unit to the batten end clip as before. Continue in the same manner to the ridge. Before clipping onto the top two AmbiDry verge units, add the ridge comb to the verge unit and mesh together, thus preventing bird access. Install the tiles into the verge units. Complete the system at the ridge verge junction with a block end ridge tile or ridge end cap. For more information and detailed fixing instructions, please visit the Redland website at www.redland.co.uk.